Assalamualaikum brothers and sisters So this next video is the construction of the voltage divider circuit of your BJT Okay So the BJT NPN type is very cute <laughs> So you can see here it's very cute And there is this flat surface here Okay I don't know whether you can see it but Maybe this way you can see it Okay so you can see there's a flat surface if the flat side of the BJT is facing you, then the left leg is your emitter. So, of course, the center one will be your base and then the right leg will be your collector. So, let's look at your circuit for the voltage divider configuration. So, there is a power supply and four resistors there. R1, R2, RC and RE. Okay, so because there are three terminals there, you need to make sure that you do not short circuit the transistor okay a few moments later okay so after a few struggle i managed to put the transistor on the breadboard so this is base emitter collector okay so this is my 3 kilo ohm Ta okay which is going to connect between collector so make sure it's same row eh so this is all my collector node. So collector to VCC. Okay, so I'm going to define a node uh, as the VCC. And then what is this one? Let's measure it. This is my 22 kilo ohm. Okay. So that's my 22 kilo ohm uh, resistor. And it's connected between base and VCC. However, this node are not connected, right? I'm just going to bring it to the same point here. So now it's connected. So now this will be my VCC. Okay. Then, what about this guy? Should be my 680 ohm resistor. Okay. So this resistor is connected between emitter and ground. And finally, this should be my 6.8. I got it 6.7 Okay Again connected between base And Ground as well Similar to the VCC I'm going to connect The ground as well To be One common Note ah, Right Okay So this will be my Ground And this will be my supply Okay, so the supply is 20 volt. So I'm going to use channel 1 here for my supply. Okay. And I'm going to set it to 20. Basically, this is my voltage divider configuration. And the manual is asking you to measure the voltages and the currents. Okay. Firstly, I would like to measure the voltages. VBE and VCE so VBE should be around 0 0.7 because you want to turn on the BE junction so VBE okay my base terminal and emitter terminal I want to measure the voltage You can see I get 0 0.706 volt, which means that my BE junction is fault bias, right? Now I want to measure my VCE. I'm just going to bring this red wire here to terminal C. Okay, I got 0 0.170 volt. I think my BJT has reached saturation value because saturation value for a BJT is approximately 0 0.2 so I think if I connect an input signal it will not be able to amplify it because when you want to amplify using BJT you need to make it into active mode alright so in order to shift your BJT to the active mode I have changed the power supply to 12 volt okay so now I'm going to measure my VCE again okay so it's much better 0 0.8 one six volt so i think it is not in saturation mode anymore and i think it is in active mode but we'll see 
I'm going to give um, a sine wave just to see whether it is amplified or not. So now I'm going to give the input signal a sine wave, 1 kilohertz with 0.2 volt peak to peak. This is my coupling capacitor, input signal resistor. Okay. So my input signal is here. Okay. So this will be the ground. I need to connect the capacitor to this node, node B. So the capacitor is connected, positive, negative. Alright. So I'm going to give my function generator. I already set the function generator. Okay. So we're going to measure the output at the collector terminal. Okay. So in order to reduce noise, I'm going to use a capacitor at the output side. And then I'm going to connect a load resistor here. So my capacitor at the output is connected between node C and I define another node here and that node it will be connected to my load resistor 10K. This should be my ground. So I'm going to define another ground here. So basically you can see in the circuit here that is my input signal being fed to my RS signal resistance, that's my coupling capacitor connected to base terminal with the voltage divider configuration for the transistor and the output side is connected to terminal C and I have a coupling capacitor as well to reduce the noise and connected to a load resistor 10 kilo ohm so that is my transistor configured as common emitter amplifier I have placed the oscilloscope channel 2 at the output measured at the leg of the resistor 10k channel 1 is the input so you can see here the output is um, still a bit noisy but you can see the peak to peak so you can see there is a gain going on and then when we set the voltage per division to be the same we can observe that the input is inverted and it is also amplified so that is your common emitter amplifier using npm bjt thank you bye